Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use common JS module inside of the yes module project. So this is Node.js backend and you can see type equals module, which is yes module, the app.mjs use the keyword import to import modules. There is a problem if you are using some third party software like the open source packages like SQLize. And when you use the CLI tools, the SQLize init, um, it will generate a bunch of files that still use the old common JS module. These packages are not updated. Um, they did not meet the yes standard. Um, how do you use their packages inside a yes module project? Um, so now if you, you want to import this module index.js under the directory models, this file is generated automatically with the CLI tool, SQLI CLI, and you get into trouble. So note app.mjs error uh, because the module does not export anything. It is still built under the old common JS module system. So uh, an easy workaround is to create a new file. Under this directory, new file, package JSON. When you have this package JSON, there just need to be one thing called type. And this type will use the old common JS and save it. Now you run the same file. Hello world got printed out. You can import this module without any problem, even though this module is still using the old common JS module system. You can use the keyword import. Why? Because this package JSON overrode the default module system. So type common JS instead of here, type module. So if you create another package JSON file in a subdirectory, it will override the parent directory's configurations. And this allows you to use the old common JS modules inside your ES module project. Another workaround, obviously, is to change this file extension to MGS and change all these required into import. And this file name underscore file name underscore dir name needs to be uh, updated as well. You need to add a couple lines of code to make it work so that you will be convert this common JS module into an ES module. But that's a lot of work. Uh, we use the CLI2 because the CLI2 allows you to create a lot of files with just a single line of code on a terminal. If you create a whole bunch of file with this uh, CLI2, now you have to go into each individual file to make all the changes to make it work. It kind of beat, beat the purpose. So this package JSON override offers a great solution. You can still use the common JS module under a project that use the yes module. Um, of course, using the yes module will allow the tree shaking. Your dead code will be excluded. So your package compiler package will be, much, will be much smaller. So the best solution is still to use packages that are compatible using the modern yes modules instead of the common JS module. Okay, so this is my short video. Thank you.